Hello, everyone. Hello, Agoric community. I am. This is Dean Tribble. I'm CEO of Agoric. I'm coming to you from uh, an undisclosed location in outer space, somewhere on rocket ship Agoric, and we take occasional fire, but you know, mostly we're doing well here. Um, we are very excited that you could join us. We're very excited for the people that are live, and of course, the tale of people that will be joining us when they wake up in their morning. Um, today, uh, the team uh, will be will be talking to you about. Um, key things for the next step in building our ecosystem, which is our incentivized testnet. So I'm really excited to bring up our, our product manager to start. He's going to go into the details um, and 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 both of the program and what you'll be doing and uh, uh, introduce you to some of the folks that you'll talk to and will help you along the way. We're very, very much looking forward to uh, the contributions you'll make to the system and our ecosystem. So you want to join me, Roland? Hello. Yeah. Thanks, Dean. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm as excited as Dean to talk about the incentivized <laughs> testnet today. So it's been a long time coming. I know a lot of you have been waiting as well. Um, so with that, uh, you know, I'll let Dean take his leave and we'll walk you through it. We'll have we'll have uh, Michael Fig from engineering come in as well and talk through the details. Um, so to start with, uh, we have a, a site for the incentivized testnet, which is validate.agoric.com. That will be your source of truth. So we'll we'll mention this a few times throughout the call today in case you miss it. But uh, please go here. It should be live now, um, at the very least, live after this call. And um, this will be your source of truth moving forward. All right. Uh, so Santi, if you don't mind bringing Michael in, uh, I'd love to talk about testnet goals and the phases for the testnet. Uh, so to start with, uh, we're looking to make sure that obviously we're looking to make sure. We're, we can secure the network. So uh, as we get ready for mainnet, we want to test what we're building. We want to make sure that uh, all the, the various different ways uh, validators need to communicate, need to manage their own infrastructure, that, um, that that's all possible and that security works. We also want to train and prepare the validator network. So make sure that you know as we see things go down, as we force challenges on the system, that you're able to recover your systems, you're able to stay live, you're able to maintain the kind of uptime that we need. Um, and then beyond that, we're just looking to grow the community. So uh, we'd love to have Michael talk about his his goals for the testnet as well. Yeah, so I'm one of the software engineers over at Agoric, and um, there will be a bunch of us helping out on the incentivized testnet. The main thing that we really want to do is to both grow the community and also grow our software. Because uh, the validators, such as yourselves, need to understand how our software works and to be able to support each other. Uh, there's not enough of us in hours of, for the hours of the day to be able to do handheld support all the time. So it's been really great that so far people have been taking on that job, job and helping each other out. Um, and basically, the the uh, the software changes that we need to make to improve the network are really important too, and we want to focus more on that. We've been spending many months on scalability and other other things around scaling the network uh, that we want to see how it behaves in the real world and uh, also make for future improvements. That's right. And many of you who are running validators already, you've probably had interactions with Michael over Discord, so want to make sure that we put a face to the name. Um, and so with that, let's let's go talk a little bit about the specific phases for the incentivized testnet. Um, so I'm going to go over the, the high-level schedule, and then we can talk about each phase in turn. So uh, applications start today, and we'll go into a little bit more detail about that later. Uh, but the, the testnet itself has five phases that span a total of several months. Um, and that is with a one week on and roughly two week off schedule between phases. And the two weeks off is really for us to react to anything that we saw during the on phase and uh, do any development or adjustments that we need. Uh, and to prepare for what we're going to do for the next phase. So each each phase will have some additional things that we're we're asking you to do that we're doing, uh, and so we want to make sure that we have we have time for everybody to to adjust in between. Um, so to start with, really the the first phase is just the onboarding phase, and I'll, I'll let Michael talk a little bit about what you can expect during that. Yeah. So if you've been one of our validators in our non incentivized testnet, this will be just a piece of cake for everybody. All it really is is to get your system set up and to show us what your validator key is so that we can help assign uh, the points to it. And um, basically just get running with our normal centralized uh, deployment. 
So that first phase and only the first phase will be started by Agoric and then people can trickle in and add their validators to test them. Um, once we pass that phase, then we move on to infrastructure. Yeah, and infrastructure is really just the initial load testing. So Michael, keep keep rolling. What are we looking forward to with infrastructure? <laughs> so with infrastructure, we're going to actually do a decentralized chain upgrade. Um, so we'll, we'll, or we'll do a decentralized launch without upgrading from the previous chain. So basically everybody who's got their validator registered will be part of the Genesis block. And we won't be running any Agoric validators in the infrastructure phase. So this will be on the community to have the network running and to support it. Um, so this initial load testing, we just want to make sure that our, our client load generating scripts do something sensible and behave well under the network. We're not putting on, on a lot of load yet, but uh, we just want to make sure that the Agoric scripts for generating client load um, do something realistic and do test the network a bit. Great. And then the next phase is moving into the economic security portion. And that's where we're going to be testing the proof of stake kind of dynamics that you're likely already familiar with, uh, making sure that uh, users can can delegate, that you can bond your validator. Um, we'll, we'll test jailing, we'll test reward mechanics, uh, we'll test slashing mechanics. Uh, and, you know, Michael, anything anything additional to add there? Yeah, so this has been a, an ongoing question for a lot of people in the non-incentivized testnet, is how do I make sure I'm part of the voting set? But we've got that figured out, and we're basically going to uh, make it fair so that people can kind of take a rotation and be uh, the in the validator set, no matter where in the world they're on, they're in. Um, so another thing we're going to do is have you actually voluntarily take downtime so that you can get jailed and test how you unjail and so on. And um, yeah. It, it may be voluntary. It may be forced on you. We'll 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 see how that works. <laughs> um, you might get points for jailing yourself. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and then so and, and as you can see, as the phases move forward, we're we're adding more and more, right? So uh, phase four is the stress test, uh, and we're we're sort of defining that as higher load testing, testing network upgrades, testing emergency validator coordination. Um, what what are you looking for there, Michael? Yeah. So we really want to put the the well we really wanted to test put stress on the on the network and test it out that way we expect that we'll be crashing the network as a whole at certain points um, we've done a, a fair amount of load testing in, in advance on just our software to make sure that it can deal with client loads but we expect that there'll always be a bottleneck there'll always be some way that the network can take too much load or or be attacked uh, so we wanted to see how that happens, uh, roll out hot fixes, roll out things that we, we can do to help keep the network up and to cope with validator downtime, uh, and possibly have to upgrade the network multiple times uh, in, that, in the face of uh, problems that just don't allow us to continue the chain. Yeah, I, I think a big, a big thing for us there is making sure that we, we, we see how you guys all coordinate, how the network itself responds, uh, communication channels are open, uh, and it, it's sort of a view, we're viewing this and the next phase as real tests for mainnet, right? How will the network operate in in real life situations? Um, so, so last one, adversarial testnet. Uh, so, Michael, I'd love to get your thoughts. Yeah. So uh, this won't be. We don't want people to denial of denial of service attack us. We don't want to say you're going to get points for bringing down the network. What really matters here is can you uh, craft some really clever challenge, clever at attacks against your fellow validators or against the network? So we have some guidelines on what we'd like to see you try to do. Uh, and this is where the competition gets uh, a little bit more intelligent in the sense that you can't just be a DevOps engineer and running your validator in order to do this part. You actually have to have some understanding of what our underlying network is capable of and how to attack the VM and stuff like that. Great. So with that, uh, that, that sort of concludes a high level overview of what we're looking to do during the test net. Um, I, I think with that, I'll transition into a little bit more of the logistics. How do you sign up? Some details like that. And I will let Michael take his leave uh, and, and go through that on my own here. <laughs> um, OK, great. So let's talk about tasks and the actual reward structure. So 
as we go through the phases, um, there will be pr participants earn points for completing different tasks during each phase. And uh, there's a little bit more detail on the validate.agoric.com site on how that works. Um, but on the, the launch of our Agoric mainnet, rewards distribution is based on those points. And we can say that we expect there to be a little over uh, a million tokens allocated to this, this incentivized testnet. Um, each phase will have three different kinds of tasks. So there'll be network tasks, community tasks, and challenge tasks. Network and community are each achievable by everybody. Um, and they're not, they're not really competitive. It's just do this and you have completed it or not. And challenge tasks will be actually competitive. So there may, depending on the task, there may be multiple winners. There may only be one winner. Um, an example of a challenge task might be, uh, writing an infrastructure tool that all other validators can use and we'll pick the best one. That sort of thing uh, is, is what falls into challenge. Um, community tasks are more around, you know, an example might be tweet something out that very simple things. It, um, the, the point value for community tasks will be lower and you will have to be, you have to complete network tasks to be eligible for community tasks. So again, more, more details available on validate.agoric.com. And um, we will be revealing specifics for each phase, uh, including what tasks are involved in the point allocations right before each phase starts. So uh, don't worry, there's, there's sort of uh, more coming on each of these things. Uh, overall, the point values will increase with each phase. And you, you can see that each phase is sort of successively more, dis, more difficult than the previous one. Uh, and that's, that's why that's happening. Um, and there will be a, a little bit of a submission process for each task. So some of those will be able to validate, uh, not to use a, a pun, will be able to uh, uh, <laughs> confirm on our own and some we will require you to submit something for. Uh, and again, that will be part of the reveal before each phase starts. All right, how to apply. Um, so applications are starting now. Uh, the deadline is March 20th. Uh, first, please come join our Discord if you haven't already. Uh, we will be coordinating everything through Discord. So uh, the actual application requires you to give a Discord handle. Um, the the application itself is at validate.agoric.com. There will be a KYC process as part of, uh, part of the application. And I'll go into a little bit more detail on what you, you can expect there. And uh, we will we'll be uh, receiving, we'll be giving, uh, we will be responding to applications on or before March 22nd. So um, one thing that I need to mention is that we're limiting spots to 150 total. Uh, so it is possible that we will be oversubscribed. We're not sure yet, depending on demand, it is, it is possible. So uh, in that case, we'll be looking to uh, reward people or, or have people as part of the um, as part of the test net who have been helping us all along. So um, obviously we hope not to have to make those choices, but it is, it is possible we'll be oversubscribed. Uh, yeah, so a couple of reminders here. So uh, you, need, you need to KYC, only one validator is allowed per, per participant. Uh, and that participant might be a person or an entity. Uh, the timelines that I mentioned are subject to change. So we, we did add buffer in so that we can adjust for each phase, but as you might expect, you know, we might find something that takes a little bit longer to adjust to. So um, we'll be coordinating through the Discord channel and through our other official channels on that, uh, including updates to validate.agoric.com. Uh, again, the full testnet is, is four months long. Uh, it has breaks, but we know that that is a long time. So we want to make sure that if you're signing up that you want to stick with us the whole time. And again, we may be oversubscribed. All right. Uh, so Key dates in March. So we're at the 10th right now, uh, or at least we are here in America. And uh, the the update or the application is due on the 20th. So you've got a little over a week and a half to, to fill out that application. And phase one will start on the 22nd and run through the 29th. Um, again, head to validate.agoric.com as an official channel. Uh, our Discord is uh, the validators channel will be used for now but we will be adding an additional Discord channel uh, once, once applications have started to come in and we, we've started to, to bring people in. There will be a, a special Discord channel for those that are participating in the incentivized testnet. And at that point, uh, primary announcements will happen on that Discord channel as well. 
Um, okay, so some of you may be wondering what's going on with our existing testnet. Uh, and right now that is that will transition to the DevNet. We're not gonna take it down. Um, it will be transitioned to DevNet and it will be what we use to uh, manage our, up, our software updates in a more frequent fashion. So as we're building out um, contracts for our treasury and things like that, those will be pushed to DevNet. Uh, there won't be any direct prizes for continuing to run a validator on DevNet. So we want to want to make sure that's clear. But um, if you want to support the network, please do uh, run a validator there as well. Uh, and, you know, because that is important for us to be able to continue testing. Uh, and I, I also want to mention if you are only running a validator there, you know, do expect a little bit slower response time than, than you might be used to, just given that uh, a lot of our focus will be on the incentivized test net for now. And, um, you know, we don't, we don't have additional people helping with support. So it's it's the same group. All right, uh, so with that, we've got an AMA coming up uh, with myself, Michael, and Dean. Uh, that'll be tomorrow for uh, uh, on Staking Hub. And wanted to make sure that you all check that out if you've got additional questions. And as a quick summary, uh, again, go to validatedgoric.com. Uh, I'm gonna say that at least 10 times. Uh, the validator channel in Discord. Sign up start now. They end March 20th. First phase begins March 22nd. Testnet is four months, five phases, 150 seats, one node per participant, KYC required, and claiming re rewards will require tax forms. Uh, so fastest summary ever, but that is high level what we're doing on the incentivized testnet. Go to validate.agoric.com. Uh, and with that, uh, I don't know if uh, Dean wants to come in and say any additional words, but um, I, I want to make sure that we also do thank the, those that have helped us along the way. So people that have been running validators up until now have been active in the discord and, and helping with the community. You, you don't know how big a help that is for everybody. Um, you know, we, this needs to be a, a network that runs itself and, uh, we're already seeing a start of that. So that's been really great. Um, Zucky, Jesse, Sonny, people that have, have given us guidance on, on how to think through, uh, the incentivized testnet structure. Um, and many others that I'm probably forgetting right now. So really do appreciate help from everybody else. Yep, I was. I just want to reiterate that. That's what I came on <laughs> to, to 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 share. Um, that that this is really about building a community with people supporting each other, and even in the adversarial test net, um, you know, a lot of that will be sharing tips and tricks to make it to 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 make a a, 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 a tax happen. Um, but we have gotten an enormous amount from the community that has come before and learned a lot about test nets. And we expect to learn an enormous amount from all of you participating in building up our community. So, so um, you know, as he said, thank you to uh, uh, to the folks from for, for, you know Zucky and, and and Chris Remus and the Dokia folk and all of the, the validators who have been working on our test net and will continue to do so. Um, and I look forward to learning the next round from everybody. So, thank you all. Thanks, everybody.